So I'm, I'm talking to Matt Saunders after the Wilsons 4-2 win at Farnborough in our latest pre-season friendly. Quite a tough opposition today, Matthew. Will you say uh, we, we overcame the odds in the end? Yeah, I mean, I thought first half was a pleasure to watch again. I thought we were way the better team and we should have been... I don't want to say what the score should have been, but I thought we should have been comfortably ahead at half-time. I thought we were excellent in the first half and I thought that's probably why a couple of their players were getting injured because they were having to chase the ball and it's probably work they don't have to do in the league that they're in and when they play teams like us. So I thought we were excellent first half. Um, I thought second half, obviously with a new team coming out, I thought we got mm. caught cold a little bit and we changed the shape because we're looking at people which was a shape we haven't really ever worked on and I think you could see that for for 15 minutes. It was but a bit hit and miss, wasn't it, for a while? It was, because at the end of the day, you're, you're, the way you play, you have to work on it. You, we can't just expect the players to go out there and just do it off the cuff, and, and that's not the way we work. But we had, we had to today to look at the personnel. But quite quickly, we, ch we changed it from rather than two sitters and one ten, we quickly changed it to one sitter and two eights because they high pressed, which allowed us to go straight into the forward player, which basically pulled them out to allow us to play that pass, and then we played beyond the press. And So there's yeah. things that we gained from it and we learned from it and we had this a little bit of Bracknell when teams go man for man. Um, mm. You've got to find a way to, to play through the press and, and we found that by quickly changing and uh, yeah, I thought we were excellent at so the end. And certainly when you, it seems to me when you play teams from a lower level it's much easier to, to get through on goal than we found in the second half. I think it is but then what you find with teams lower down is that they kind of are willing to go man for man with you, so they're, they're happy to leave space behind you. Whereas we see it with MK Dons the other day, it's more of a structured press in terms of they've all, always got a plus one defensively, so they don't leave themselves man for man. So when teams do that, if they're going to leave it man for man, then we'll play in behind them. And we've got patterns now to go into the forward. You see the goalie distributing and the two eights have to peel wide, the midfield player has to leave the gap, the forward has to pop off at the right time. So there's loads of things. The wing backs have to go high and pin them back. So there's loads of details in there that I've just gone into, but it doesn't just happen. It happens because we work on it. So yeah. um, you see it come to fruition at the end and we've ended up finding a way to win. We had a couple of injuries there. Um, Michael Obiero came off injured in the end. Yeah. Charlie Bach got a bit of a knock. Less so serious, yeah. I would have thought. Uh, listen, I, I don't know. I didn't think they looked like serious injuries uh, when they come off, but you never know until you, you can assess them. So we'll find out. But listen, we've got a very good squad. So that's the benefit of uh, retaining the amount of players that we did that we still haven't really massively dipped into the loan market yet. I think we've got one loan signed, so we've mm. still got four loans. So if we do get injuries, we're we're well equipped to quickly bring players in, so we're in a good position. Well, we had a trialist, and I know uh, there's, there's a mystery man came on, scored two goals in the second half. So yep. he took, a, took you both his goals very competently. Yep. We can't reveal who he is, obviously, but he's been training, I know. Yeah, he's been training. He's only trained twice, so he missed the game the other day because we wanted to give him a fair chance to... to like I said before, it's very hard to play in our team because we ask so much of you on the ball. Mm. So if you come in and you don't know the patterns of play, you see it for the first 10 minutes, it's a little bit foreign to the players. And you want to give them a fair opportunity when you come in. You don't want to just chuck them into an environment where they don't really know what's happening and they don't look good. Whereas we gave him time, we let him miss the game the other day so then he could keep training with us and he done really well today to take his two goals and I thought they were two really, really good finishes. Yeah, and, and two goals from a goal from Olafella, Olamola, took yep. that very well, playing in a more deeper position, wasn't he, today? Yep. I thought the two pocket players really, really hurt them when they because they started in a five in terms of their shape, but when they pressed, they released a wing back to go and press. They ended up pressing in a 4-3-3 three, three, and what happens then is the two pocket players really hurt the two fullbacks because they're getting pinned back by wing backs where they can't mark both. And then when you have that, you see in the first half, they couldn't get near the ball. So, yeah, them areas we need goals. They end up a front three. The two pocket players and the forward, they end up like a front three. And uh, we need goals from their areas. It, ov it overloaded them in the way, didn't it? Yeah. Tad sent um, the, the trial is through again for the final. Yeah, goal. for the second one, he, really we, up, well. we played beyond the press. We didn't really overload in midfield, but first half we overloaded in midfield. And anyone that remembers when we had Umar and Brownie, what we had a lot was Brownie always popped off into the midfield. And yeah. then all of a sudden, who marks him? And you can't come out as a centre half. If you come out as a centre half, then we'll play beyond you. And that's what happened in the end with the two goals. The two forwards just really hurt them with their movement. Well, good afternoon for everybody. For the fans who turned up here as well. And the, yeah, no. the evolution continues, doesn't it? Yeah, really? that's what it is. And that's what I said it the other day. I don't really care about. I, I want to win, and, and we all want to win, and Stu wants to win, but it's more the evolution of the team. Like, we don't want to be a team that where we are now is where we are in four weeks' time. We want to keep getting better and better and better. And that for me was what is really pleasing me is the evolution and how much better we are than probably last season at times and there's things we need to keep mm. working on and we're a nightmare because we aren't ever happy like even the game the other day you beat MK Dons and we're, we're 
livid with a few things and we're picking the bones out of it, but that's the way you get success at the end of the day. If you just yeah. think you've made it and you're happy with just mediocrity, then you don't get success. Can I ask not. you, can you talk about the goalkeeping situation? I know that's um, up in the air, isn't it? Listen, I can't because I don't want to talk about other teams' players and stuff until mm. things are done, but listen, it's, we've got plenty of options and I don't think there's a need to worry at the moment. So Good. I suppose you right. want to get a keeper in to be aware of how the team plays. And yeah, we, we've said that really, if we can get a goalie in probably at least 10 days before the start of the season, then that's fine. If you bring in a goalie in the session before you're playing a game, then it's difficult. But to be fair to Zaki, he's come in and done really well as a trialist goalie. He's, he's got the little bouncing out and he's learned how to play beyond the press. So. Yeah, listen, we're in a good position. There's no, yeah. no need to panic with a goalie. Good stuff. On to Billericke on Tuesday night. Yep. And then Charlton next Saturday, two more tests. To the yeah, we got, a, we got a really good pre-season. You see it today, we play farm because we know how they're going to play. They're going to play direct mm. into Pavey and then you've got to be able to deal with that. They've got, uh, the one thing I'll say is their recruitment's been brilliant. Um, they've got a, a proper National League South team. So that wasn't an easy game to them. I thought right. first half, I thought we looked really, really good against a team that won a high yeah. press and, and try and take the ball off you.